What you doing back here, man? Okay, let's try this video again. I got to doing the video and the back on battery said to dock out. No go. Okay, let's start over. Hello, YouTuber. Um, I'm coming at you today with um, a prize mail gift as well as a quick thrifting haul. Today um, is Saturday, September 1st. Um, me and my daughter went thrifting with one stipulation. She does not like to go thrifting, so I practically have to wind up doing something I don't like to do in order for her to go with me. That was go to Bath and Body Works and get her some high-ass lip gloss. No other way to put it. Two, buy two, get one free. She'll spend sixteen dollars and one cent for three little twos, a lip gloss. She just couldn't do without. It was a compromise because she had went online and was getting ready to place an order that she thought I was gonna pay for, which totaled fifty one dollars for lip gloss. Okay, people, can you say my daughter's crazy? She's sixteen and she's crazy. So I talked to Andy going. I told her I would get her at least some of them. So we wound up getting three of them for sixteen dollars and one cent. And I feel like I want to shoot myself in the head for doing it. But she's a good girl. She does really good in school. And sometimes I just like to spoil her. That being said, we went thrifting first because I knew the malls would be open later than the thrift stores would. So we went shopping first. Here's my prize mail. And this is coming from your closet freak. Um, beautiful lady, bubbly, sparkling personality on YouTube. And I've actually enjoyed all the videos. Thing of this was, I wasn't the original winner. Hello, but I still wound up with the prize. How so? People, when you enter these contests and they say inbox you the in your information, inbox them the information. The person didn't inbox the information. She gave them a few days. Waited, waited, waited. No show. She went on. Thank you for moving on because now I have the prize. It is, and I've taken this off because I've shot this video three times now. Um, it is the Alta. Here we go. Alta Beauty Retreat. 52 piece collection. This is the top with the mirror. Sorry if there's a bad reflection or anything, but there's a mirror. So we got two glosses, some pencils, two beautiful eye palettes that hit every color in the spectrum that it could possibly hit. Colors I definitely do not have. Two eye palettes. Lip palettes. And yeah, face palette. Yeah, I'm gonna get a lot of wear out of this. I have not used it yet because I wanted to do the video first. And since I haven't really been thrifting like I normally do, just not having good luck with these thrift hauls, so I haven't been even going that much. This isn't even a collective haul. This is just something I did today. That's how bad it's been. But I want to save this so I have not even used it because I was saving it so I could do this video. But now I can use the heck out of it, which I will. Work, play, church. Now on to my thrifted video. First thing first, little thing for the house. I try to look for things for the house also. And I found this thing for the house. Can't decide if I'm going to actually use this in my living room or find a nice secure place in my bedroom for it since it really goes with the stuff in my bedroom. But it's just a boss. And I'm actually thinking about getting some of those little willy things that look like tree branch and stuff and stick them in here for a decoration. Something that won't collect a whole lot of dust and stick them in here. And um, I just liked it. Dollar ninety nine cents. Then um, I got these jeans. Right? Just a simple pair of dark wash jeans. I got them because they are like really, really wide leg. And I got an outfit I'm thinking about doing with these. And these wide legs were killing me, so I got them. Um, got these check it uh, black and white pants. I've been wanting another pair. Seems like I find a pair and then something's wrong with them or they don't quite do what I want them to do and I want to get rid of them. So I found another pair of Texas Black Market. And I think I'll be keeping these for quite a while. They are by a, tr a great name, White House Black Market. Anybody know anything about that? No, these are, can be pretty expensive clothing from them, even when you catch them on sale. 
Uh, I like it fits perfectly. Hips, thighs, legs, everything, length, everything fits perfectly. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with these pants. Um, except for no exception. There's nothing wrong with the pants whatsoever. And I even like them better now that I looked at the tag, which I always try to look at, but I didn't. These are machine washable, so yeah, these are perfect pair for me. Everybody knows I'm into um, to watch my videos. You know, a lot of my videos, um, when I go to thrift stores, I wind up getting a lot of Ann Taylor, Loft, and um, Banana Republic. This thrift store hall is no different. I found a pair of Banana Republic um, pants. Once again, it's a hand wash. I'll be throwing them in the washing machine. I'm delicate. Um, and they're like a tannish color. Has the side pockets, which I love that it was pockets, like the width of the leg. They're lined. They're lined, so um, I really like these pants. Simple pair of pants, but I like them. And I think I can wear them for at least most of the seasons. Wintertime might not be too good. Might be a little too thin for that, but three out of four seasons good. Then I found um, some Antella Loft. And these are 100% wool. I like the way they cuff at the bottom and the cuff, the pants leg are kind of, you know, I, I call them wide. A lot of people might call them straight, but um, they're a little wide, especially for me since I'm so thin. Um, it has two welt back pockets. Only thing I didn't like about these, didn't have no front pocket. Other than that, they were perfect. Then, let's see, I got these shirts. It's a black shirt with some glitter, like goldish, sparkle, silver, mm -hmm. sparkle glitter in it. And it's um, Double V, New York and Company. It was brand new. Um, see that at the bottom? Just gathers at the bottom with hips to hide the little poof I'm getting. Um, sleeveless. Crap. Sleeveless. But with the right piece of jewelry, that's going to be perfect for a night out. I got this, and people may think it's simple, but oh my god, when I saw it, I was like, back, forth, back, forth, back, forth. Oh, yeah. yeah, I really like this. Keep. So that's what I did. I kept it. And oh, I like that. Feet? That small, like, gathering there. It has a keyhole in the back. Button oh, keyhole. And oh, it's just a white. It's Calvin Klein, oh, wow. believe it or not. It's Calvin Klein. And it's in beautiful condition. Yeah. I mean, I really like it. Even though it's just a simple white shirt, oh, um, it's, it's beautiful to me. Um, then I got this, once again, Antella Loft, brand new, $3.39, zips on the side, and I just like this pattern, I think it would look good with a lot of, lot of different things, solid pants, of any color, so I got this. I'm still looking for some navy blue pants, and I found a pair of navy blue pants today. They were, um, Ann Taylor, not Antella Loft. They would have been lost. I probably would have got them because they would have fit me a little bit different. And I'm not sure what is the difference in. I know I'm thinking Ann Taylor Loft is probably like the off brand per se of Ann Taylor. So um, Ann Taylor Loft is probably supposed to be more reasonably priced or whatever. But Loft fits me different than just plain Ann Taylor in certain things. So I don't know what the difference is, so if somebody can tell me what the difference is, please do. But um, like I said, I tend to gear towards more of the Loft brand because to me they make me feel and look really good. So I go to those quicker than I will just plain Antella. Antella seems to fit me kind of big for some reason. Even if it's the same size that I get in Loft, it just fits different. So I wound up putting the navy blue pants as bad as I needed a pair back because it gave me this little poofy pouch look. I already have a pouch, don't get me wrong, but then it still looks extra poofy. And I was like, it just won't lay flat like it should, so I didn't get them. Taught myself out of those. I just realized I didn't get them when I was going through this stuff. I did get this, and this is just a Mossimo brand from Target. I like that little detail in there. As you can see, it's sheer, but it has a built-in. I won't even say it ain't built-in because, as you can see, it just came the heck out, but like a little slip that goes in under this part. And crap, crap, crap. Why would it come off the hanger now all of a sudden when I'm trying to show it? That sucks, doesn't it? You're trying to show something and then all of a sudden it just wants to fall off the hanger and take up time you was not trying to use. I was trying to make a quick video. 
And this is not quick if I got to go through all this. So um, I hope y'all saw that because I'm getting frustrated. And I'm not doing this over. This video has been done three times. I'm not doing it over. But this is the dress itself. Okay. As you can see, it is completely sheer. It ties. Got like a little bat wing effect to it. I got it mostly for the detailing and the color because the color is gorgeous. And then by this year, it came with that up under it. So that takes care of the sheerness part, right? So I'm good to go with that. Not trying to put it back up because it just frustrated the hair. Now, speaking of Ann Taylor, I did break down and get one Ann Taylor piece. That piece is actually a dress. I'm going to figure out sooner or later if it's navy blue or black. The more I look at it, it looks black. The more I don't think about it, it looks navy blue. Get it? So, I'm thinking any pair of shoes I put on with it, I can make it work until I get out there in that daylight. And that's when I need to be out in the sun, natural sunlight, to see what the heck color this dress really is. But this is the dress, and it's just a plain old sheep. I'm thinking that it may have had maybe a jacket or something to it, but didn't see it in the store. Just saw the dress. Maybe it didn't. And it has um, a split in the back, small split in the back, but I wish you could see it, and I know you can't. But I like the way the back folds like this, where the split is at on each side. Then I got color, 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 because I love color. I know there's a lot of black in it, but I like that part there. Sleeves have color in it, and the print. So the print. This address. It's um, three dresses that I found that I'm adding to my collection. And um, everybody who hasn't seen my um, dress collection, I had two videos on my dress collection because I didn't realize I had that many dresses that I love. But um, you can go check those dress videos out and see that those three will now be added to the collection. As I said, my daughter went with me. She refuses to look. I can pick up something that she really likes and she'll go, uh-huh, yeah, and stuff like that. Well, I found her some jeans. And these were uh huh yeah so we got these. Only reason why we really wound up getting them because they're skinny. Jeans have to be like damn near spectacular for her to get them if they're not skinny. Um, and I may have looked up on maybe two or three pairs that's not skinny that she actually kept. Plaid shirt. This is a plaid shirt she got. She can't even fancy it up because she's a little bit bustier. Then she realizes. But she's going to put a tank on under this and she'll be able to wear this just like she wants to. And I think that was her idea of getting it anyway. Because she can't fasten it but she loves it and it fits everywhere else. She'll just put a tank up under it and rock that. With those jeans I just showed her is her plan. She's already quoted her plan. Um, and I found her this. And she liked it. And you guys may wonder why I'm so excited about that because it's taken me a long time to get her to be girly, girly, girly. Anything with ruffles, lace, she's she not having it. So when I find her something, she's finding a junior in high school and getting into little lazy dress and stuff now. So I grabbed that. Um, that's pretty much everything I have for this haul. Don't know when I'll be back with another one, but maybe I can find something else to do so I can at least be present on YouTube and, um, you guys know that I exist. Um, I do have two more things I wanted to show you. Nothing I thrifted. I had a very wonderful surprise today. Um, I was sitting on the phone with another friend of mine, a girlfriend. We were talking, blah, blah, blah. I hear my daughter in the living room. talking about auntie, auntie, auntie. <coughs> I'm thinking she's losing her mind, right? My cousin, she calls her auntie, too. And I knew it wasn't my cousin because my cousin's not going to just show up at my house without at least saying I'm on my way or what's doing or something like that. And I hadn't gotten that, so I knew it wasn't her. So I'm thinking, well, maybe her auntie is texting her something or, you know, something, and that's why she's doing it. Lo and behold, my sister said something, and I'm like, oh, my God, I started screaming on the phone in my girlfriend's ear. It's my sister. It's my sister. She's come from Texas to visit, and surprise. Nobody knew she was, well, I didn't know she was coming. I, my, our aunts and everything probably knew she was coming. 
I didn't know she was coming. And here she comes. And I'm, I, you know, I could have strangled her, but I was so busy hugging her, I couldn't strangle her. Well, she came with bearing gifts. Um, she too likes to thrift when she can, and she's in Texas, like I said. And so she picked up. She saw this, and she thought, well, my sister Retta probably can wear this because she calls me Retta. She don't call me Loretta. She calls me Retta. So she found me this dress set, and um, it is for church, as you can see. It has a new piece set on it. Their thrift store, she doesn't have to worry when I come to Texas to visit about me going to. This set has a price tag on it of $34.99. And this is the thrift store tag. So, people, $34.99, this would have stayed in the damn store. I'm sorry. Would have stayed in the store. It looks like it came from Ross. Well, it does. It says Ross dress for less on the original tag, right? I don't care where it came from. I'm not paying no $34.99 for nothing out of the thrift store. Less is a mink coat with gold lining and everything else. But I do love it and appreciate it. So it will be going to church one Sunday when it gets a little bit cooler. Um, it has a jacket to it. I mean, it's sleeveless, but it has a jacket to it, so I really like it. And then, she found me one more, so um, I'm really going to have to find a man because there's certain things that I got in my closet that I want to be with a man with when I wear it and not my girlfriend. You know what I mean? Um, she got me this. And this is a dress too. Right? I don't know how good y'all can see this little black number here. And I have a lot of little black numbers, but none like this. And I am loving this because I feel like when I hit it with the right jewelry, this little number is going to turn some heads. And I have a beautiful pair of shoes that I have not worn yet that is dying to be worn with this. So she knows her sister, if nothing else, she knows her sister. So that was the two things my sister brought me from Texas. And um, I'm going to spend some time with her this week and my granddaughter. So it's all about family this week. And um, I want you guys to stay safe, have fun, be blessed. Um, and again, just be safe. It's the holidays, and we know how it gets during the holidays, and how everybody's in a rush to get nowhere sometimes. So um, just keep that in mind. Drive for yourself, drive for them, because a lot of times they're not driving with their right train of thought. So um, keep your eyes on the road if you're driving. If you're staying at home, enjoy yourself. If you're looking at them games, hope your team wins, unless they're playing against mine. Then, hmm, good luck. Better luck next time. Till the next time, you guys stay safe, be blessed, and have a good one. Deuces.